The humble T-34-1940. This angled beast dominates in low tier, but today we're playing its much, much bigger brother. The T-34-100. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing the biggest T-34 in War Thunder. This is the T-34-100. Now if the name didn't already give it away, this thing has the 100mm cannon found on the T-44-100 with an insane penetration of 218mm and 100 grams of TNT equivalent. But as we know, as all Russian tanks do, they have incredible angled pen <laughs> which makes this thing an absolute monster. To give you an idea of just how much of a monster, this is the Panther A and just look how easily this thing cleaves through the upper front plate and kills everyone inside. The problem is though, this thing still shares the same engine as the 1940s one and the same armour on the front, just have a look here, yep, 45mm there and of course if you look at the horsepower, they're exactly the same. Armour wise this thing is pretty terrible, your turret is a little bit chunkier than of course the original T-34s but it's not much at this battle range. And to top this all off, we only have 3 degrees of gun depression making this thing one of the most awkward vehicles to play on defilade but because the gun is so good, it just makes up for all of those shortcomings. Now I have a bit of a confession to make, this thing used to be 6-7 and I absolutely hated it, I had no idea it could upper front play a jumbo or a panther and now after years have gone by and more and more use of this thing, it is absolutely incredible. Bear in mind this is the same round that gets fired out of the T-54 which is now 8.0 and that's the round you should be using. So this at 6.3 is pretty dominant. Anyway, let's get into battle and I'll show you how I got on. Okay, we got a single cap on the pool land. Let's do some big sniping. We're we are at 6.7 I think, or 7-0. I think it's 6-7 though. So we're like 1.8 from the enemy. We're gonna go 1700, because they're gonna be driving towards us. Let's try and pop this tiger, shall we? Oh! <laughs> Oh my goodness, I would be upset dude, I would be upset, I'd be done for the day, holy moly what a shot, that made me feel good. <laughs> it's gonna go over right, oh no we were, we were near, it was close. I'm actually not really seeing anything right now. What's this guy scouted out here? I think he is firing at us, is he? He's moving again. My teammate's beating up on that thing. I need to be really careful here. Right, we got a crit on the Puma. I gotta get off this hill, dude. I'm, I'm sitting a bit too cocky now. Is that guy still alive? I think it's a French Lorraine thing. I, I, I'll end that too short. This little Puma is like... He got me too. I'm gonna wait till I'm reloaded here. Okay. Took care of the scary one first. You shoot me Puma. I actually believe in you. That's not a Puma. It's a Panther who, thankfully, I just read his barrel out, or his breech orange anyway. That was very scary. Yeah, I'm, I'm backing off out of this. It's a mistake to be here. Ricochet. We got, we got the one the one absolutely baller killer now we're like we're, we're back to normality I'm dead where did that shot go? I think that went over him okay that airplane is had a really bad day we're gonna try something else 
sniping at big cats at this range, especially now there's a Tiger 2P here, is not a great idea. But we're going to start getting enemy aircraft arrive very shortly, I would I think. Let's take the... Let's take the concrete paved route. we got 14 shells left, which is not an awful lot for sniping. But that first shot, did I'm still on a little high from that. Be right, we got the flank on the go. That's a Tiger 2 sitting there. There's a couple things alive up this way. I want a, I want a, a guaranteed kill shot on this Tiger if I'm going to hit him. Is that a 105 actually? That's a P. Tiger 1. And a panther. Such an awkward spot, that guy there. I let that Tiger 1 push up a little bit. Oh, he's hanging out. I think I should have probably hit the Tiger 1 first. Oh, here we go. That one hasn't noticed me, has he? I'm gonna make sure I've got a bit of cover to hide in if he does decide to turn around. Is that tiger bombed? Tried to. I think he maybe noticed. But just too late. That tiger's gonna get on the cat. Okay, we're good. And now we got a guy back here. I'm just gonna I'm not actually gonna drive up here, I'm just gonna have a cheeky peek to make sure no one's pushing me this direction, which they're not. What on earth exploded in front of me here? Have we got another one in the field? Gaijin did a good bit of uh, map rejiggery pokery on this here and added that little berm that's there where I've got my cross here, see this? Bump, that never used to be there. It's actually a very good thing. It's a dead tiger, right? This guy behind the berm shooting at our planes, but I don't think anyone's going to push up here anymore, but there's still quite a few enemies left. Panther just got smacked. Got the gun depression. There's a real struggle. Another one pushing out. There too. Wait till we're reloaded. Actually, we're not going to wait till we're fully reloaded. But we're going to push towards this building. He's down behind that. But can I see this guy? Yes. Yes, we can. And now we can. We just performed a magic trick and made him disappear. Oh. It's a Yag Tiger. And a friend. Is the Yag Tiger still going? Yes. Awesome. What what a flank, dude. I mean, you just couldn't ask for better. Oh, uh, CA Lorraine got me, but that's my 11th kill. And that is definitely going to be the, the final straw there, dude. Oh, oh very almost a nook. Very almost a nook. Not that we would have time to drop it. Let's take the test match just in case someone decaps. From the from the long ball to the successful flank, super duper. We like that. The GG. Holy moly! Right, dude. A very unflat map, but let's see what we can do. We're against Germany, and it is a full down tier. So Tiger Two P is like the scariest thing we can see, right? You know, there's a few vehicles like Panther A that I think are still under tiered, but. 
I don't understand how the Ferdinand ended up at 6 7. That is a big confusion to me. Definitely should still be 6 3. We're going to struggle for. Where's this Puma going? Did he just smoke? Yes, he did. He's shot at M18. Ah, well. I'm fairly sure I know what would happen there. I would shoot him. Um, I would kill one of his crew. And that would be it. Game over. What is this? I tried the suspension bounce that, but it was unsuccessful. A nast horn. No thanks. The panther will appear eventually though, right? Oh my god. Three degrees is not a lot of degrees. Someone's shooting at that panther, right? Does he keep coming is the question. I don't want to try peek out on this other guy. Because the panther might appear, but... Womp womp. Right, I I'm a bit worried about this puma behind us because my teammates are dying here. No, they're not. Still no panther, still no nass on. This guy's just fired. We will take his life. Still no panther. I think the panther might be dead, actually. Yeah, that explosion tells a tale. And I cannot see the other guy. Oh, he's there. Right through the World War II Hesco nets. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know the guy who invented Hesco also invented the Segway? And uh, he died on a Segway, drove off a cliff. There you go. Weird history lesson. Oh my god. Weird history lessons from Oddboss. Also, as someone who has spent weeks of his life filling Hesco's, I, I, I hate them. I'm lucky to have all my fingers left. Uh oh. Hey, that man has multiple bombs. But he really wants this issue under P. Thank you, teammate, for 50 kill on that man. Oh no, there's more planes. Where are the enemies? Right, we're going for a wonder. Not too far though, I don't want to get caught out like I normally do because I'm just looking for something to press left mouse button on. And right, there goes a teammate. Also, our gun depression is awful. Are you alive? Yeah. There's another one there too, look. Oh no, he's dead. A dead friendly, I think. Panther? I love this cannon, dude. I think out of all the World War II cannons, this is my favourite. There's definitely somebody over here. Oh no. That's a tiger. Aim for his turret because I was unsure about the volumetric nature. What is happening here? We're playing whack a mole. Oh, it's a, it's a stew! Driver gunner. Not enough armor to trigger a reaction from the APHE. Still going on the left here. And again. Oh my god, that plane. He just kissed the ground. There's a, there's a guy here somewhere, I think. Just at the opposite side to me. And I, this IS-1 is not being contested by anyone right now either. I honestly have no idea what's going on here. It's very quiet. 
Tiger 1. Yeah, this guy is by me. Mm, I've got myself in a sticky situation. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I don't know what he's doing. I think he might be going back up the hill. If he's not going to move, I am. See if you can biting this guy. That's a nice one. Don't want to play that game. Oh, he's coming. I think the tiger is also coming now. Right. Currently, he's uh, got problems. The tiger isn't coming. The tiger's dead. I was going to let him die to my hearty, but... Nah, okay. There's still a lot of enemies that just... I don't know where they are or what they're doing. Oh, hey. Try and hit... I hate Wurbelos windy things. Stop that. I'm on your side. You sneaky bugger. He didn't even mean that. Oh. A Tiger 2P. What took him so long? There's another Tiger here as well though. I think I'm going to keep moving. That is a panda and here comes a tiger. Reload did Reload faster! We're good. That man took a long while to decide where he was going to shoot at me. My god dude. Two, two 11 kill games back to back. Right here. Oh, uh, nice try. <laughs> Brim bear. Unlucky chief. And uh, another good game for us. Alright, dude, Middle East, full up here. Let's go, dude. Who are we fighting against? Oh, Germany and Italy. Okay. This might be a little awkward. I, I need to remember I've got really bad gun depression. One bulldog less to deal with. See if we can catch anyone out trying to push Sika. Uh, I think I had something solid here. Oh, Tiger 2 PP. Uh, that's not good. And I've also destroyed the thing that was kind of hiding me a little bit. Is he looking at me? The other guy is not. One of them's looking at me. I think it's time we back off because the tiger is definitely staring at me. Oh my god, I bounced him. Whoa! Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm noping out, dude. Maybe some other time. Oh, he's dead. That was a bit of a slow reaction from that guy. I don't want to kill my teammate to my left. That's not good either. Uh, some sort of tiger. I can hear him doing the choo-choo. Oh, 
Okay, the entire enemy team is back there. You can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> right, we're, we're... We're in the danger zone, then. Because anything could be behind me and I can't not look this way. Oh, it's, a, it's another Tiger 2P. Just... Just chill out, boys. We, we need to replenish our first stage ammo for a start. I don't know if it's a clever idea if this Tiger 2 fires again. Do I rush out and try and get him? And I, I can't... He's definitely moving, but I can't tell where he's going. Also, I somehow survived two shots from a King Tiger. Despite me only having 45 millimeters of armor. Yeah, this guy's getting closer. In fact, I think there's two of them and we're going to die. I don't know what my team is doing, but we've kind of held the line here for as long as we can. Nice! Another T-3400! I wanted that man to consider his life decisions before I killed him. Whoa! Right. Centurion Mar 2 is on the B. How are things behind us? No idea. But the things in front of us are still there. Centurion Mar 2 has just shot this guy. Oh no. Okay, I got his breach. Oh, Sent, why did you do that? Type 63 is pushing this King Tiger. That's a different Tiger. The Centurion Mark II just killed us. Dude, why did you do that? If you're wondering why I didn't just sit there, because when the smoke cleared, there'd be a Tiger staring at me, right? But I hate when people take damage, the first thing they do is smoke. Like, I really want to team kill him, right? The the devil on my shoulder is like, teach this guy a lesson. Like, your teammates can't help you if they're blind. Oh, I think there's a double coming here. Uh, it's just a Panzer IV though. That, that's gonna land short, I think. Ah, we're good. Tell me that was friendly that flew past it was. Oh, he's... Why are you bombing open tops? Oh, he's... Okay, he's got lots of bombs. Okay, let's... Strafe the bejesus out of this Panzer IV and then come back around with bombs for the King Tiger. Uh, he, that guy's got no turret rank, no engine. Something's shooting at the A1H. You're bombing the King Tiger, right? Uh, that was not a very good bomb, but you tried. Yag Panther. Okay. Verbal wind is angry with me, good. Uh oh. That's a flock of wolf, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take that trade, dude. We'll take that trade. Well, we got the Yag Panther, and that's what counts. Right, let's get back in a T3400. Hello, can I spawn in? Okay, wow. I love that there's a countdown, right? It tells you how many seconds you've got to go till you can spawn in, but then there's another five seconds after it sometimes. A lot of people ask me for tutorials, right? I'm going to tell you right now, unbind your smoke key. It's the best tutorial I can ever give you. You, you could sit through like a two hour tutorial from the best player in War Thunder. And I've just given you the best advice I can ever give you. To just be better at War Thunder. Don't... Just unbind it. There's like... 0.001% chance you'll ever need it. Dude... Like... Like paper. The, the Panther armor and like paper for this thing. Two planes coming in. 
Oh, it's a BB. Why is my team not shooting at those things? How are my team even winning this? I, I really don't know where the enemy team are. We're going to get marked on the map, but I mean, the, the game is done. I hear a jet. And this guy is racing down this hill in front of me. Alright, and that's a uh, last kill then. There we go. <laughs> GG. The cannon on this thing is absolutely bonkers. It's so good. It's just a problem. The chassis that it's on is very weak, so you really need to know how to play it in order to do well in it. But in a full down tier, you can almost bl brainless rush. Brainless? Okay. There's also no real contender medium tank that's this good at 6-3 for the Russian tech tree. You've got the same cannon-ish on this thing, uh, which has a much quicker reload, but again, you're open top, you'll get strafed all the time, and then that's it really. Uh, the IS-2, but you've got a mega reload on that, so yeah, this guy, absolutely awesome. I didn't see much suggestions for vehicles to play on the last video, so if you wouldn't mind doing it for this video, I've kind of run out of ideas. I've done pretty much every vehicle in War Thunder, so if you let me know in the comments box below what to play, I'll give it a shot. Anyway, that's me done for today. As always, a huge thank you to everyone who supports the channel. Whether you're a viewer or a subscriber, you leave a like on a video, you leave a comment, that's huge. Thank you very much. And to all the supporters over on Discord and Patreon, thank you guys as well. To all the Tier 3s over on Discord who get a shout out, that's Flubberino, Aries, Sexy, White Wolf, Audible Bo, Osa the Dead, Bofe, Cookie Burb, Destari, Fearless Germ, Master Zane, Mushy Boy, Rusty, Stoyan, Toast McGee, War Daddy, Wrecked Wolf and Zig. And of course, to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Cookie Muncher, Paul Wendrick, the Taco Guy, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahenius, and the Stormwind, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, MB1 Kenobi, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Lover Weasel, Ralph, Rage, Tectonic, Shaft, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Vanny, and Mortan, and Stoyan, David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye.